The Bayelsa State Government has flagged off its Maiden Education Summit as part of efforts to reposition the sector. The plan is to meet global standards with the formulation of strategic policies and the adoption of a 15-year framework. A correspondent, Jesse Ese, completes the report. I believe that what will come out will be beneficial for all. I hereby declare this Bayelsa State Education Summit 2022 open. Governor Doyediri declaring the summit open. The theme of the event is optimizing the delivery, performance and sustainability of outcomes in the education sector. With over a thousand stakeholders in attendance, the Commissioner for Education, Gentile Miller, highlights the expectations from the summit. Real education is a passport to the future. For tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. This is exactly what we have gathered here to do. We trust your judgment and will place up appropriate emphasis on your expertise and opinions as we build our education plans, policies, blueprints, and strategies for the next 15 years. What is key to us is that we must move up the rankings to anywhere between the first and the sixth. What is the new trajectory in education? We are talking now in these days about technology-assisted learning, which constitutes educational planning, educational documentation. Former President Goodluck Jonathan is keynote speaker. He uncovers some problems bedeviling the education sector. He insists functional education is key. We must make education very functional in Bayelsa State, and we'll start from the primary, and we are trying to develop what we call, now the state has modified and they are going that proper direction, but what we call a teacher's retraining institute. Because then I saw that a number of people teaching at the primary school level were not really fit to teach. Then the NC distant learning too was a big problem to me because when I visited some of the sites, some of the instructors themselves are supposed to be students. Other stakeholders comment the state government's move but urge the Ministry of Education to fully implement government. every policy that will be formulated. I urge all of us stakeholders to also look to improve the delivery and accessibility of quality learning resources by leveraging on sustainable ICT solutions. ICT and data-driven learning is the new normal. The program is continuing with technical sessions that will lead to the adoption of a 15-year framework. Just CSC, Plus TV News, Yenagua. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.